Hello, everybody, and welcome to another podcast. Good the round, dog. The Roundtable Talk Podcast. What's 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 uh, I only said that because well, I was Jesse staring at it. He plays games while talking with his friends. Yeah, uh, so, uh, yeah, it's been two days since we last turned. Has it been three? It's hard to remember. But it's been three. It's been three days since our last two podcasts that we made. It's been one one week since you looked at me and turned your head to the side and said you're angry. I was wondering if you're going to reference that because that also went through my head. Yeah, (laughs) I kind of saw it coming. (laughs) Uh, But, um, yeah, oh, wait, actually, here, I know uh, what we can maybe do. Sorry. Uh, we, our state has updated the quarantine, so we are stuck for another additional 14 days. May 15th. Yeah, my my work is also extended, so instead of like 1st of June, it's like now the end of June or something like that for our teleworking. Oh, dang, that's a... That's even longer than the we are. Well, all of Broadway is closed until mid June. What about is Midgar? Is Midgar open? I wish I could go Midgar. to Midgar right now. Midgar is open for business at the moment. Uh, wait, who wants, wait. Who wants to jump on the Bifrost with me? Wait, wait, no. <laughs> wait. Wait. I read that rainbow. Uh wait, what? Wait a minute. Is yeah. Midgar Earth or wait, which one's it's, where what? Thor lives? Uh, or is that Midgar is, is not Thor? It's Valhalla and the, the uh, actual word Ragnar. No, Ragnar has the case. Um, seven realms? Is it seven realms? Yeah, it's seven realms. That's right. Okay, it's seven realms. I'm yeah, trying to remember what the we're code, already or... doing research here. Uh, this is a book series. No. Or is it then? Is it nine? Is it nine realms? Nine realms. Let's see, nine realms. Nine realms of Norse cosmology. Yeah, that's nine. Silly me. I just okay. got seven stuck in my head. Uh, they're connected by the branches of Ig- Yggdrasil and orbit Midgard. Uh, the inhabitants oh. of the well realms. Boo, boo, boo. Okay, oh, there's the okay. convergence. In the Ragnarok. Asgard. Asgard is the one you're thinking of. That's where I go. And That's then, what do you have a Midgard in there too? Yeah, Midgard is uh, Earth. Oh, okay. And then there's so Midgard. Midgard oh. is closed. Adgar, Asgard is open. There's the Jotunheim. Uh, no. That's the home of the Frost Giants. Then there's Vart- Svartalheim. Uh, that's home to the Dark Elves. Vanaheim. Oh. What's the one where it, it just he hits a rock monster in the second movie and it's really boring and it takes like two seconds? Uh, it's probably Vanaheim. Uh, yeah, then Vanaheim. there's then there's Nidavellir, which is the place where they forged the the sword. There's Niflheim. Oh, that's Hella's Hella's domain. Uh, that's it. I have an idea. I have an idea for a future podcast, and we do need Benji for it. Uh, is it Marvel? Yes, we rank every single Marvel movie from worst to best. Uh, are you we said, just talking MCU, or are we talking Ed, anything yes, Marvel-related? Ed, Ed, you Only said, MCU. and you said One Piece would take too long to go through it all. Okay. Duh. Uh, but also here, wait, Muspel, Heim? Or maybe, maybe we'll make it easier. We'll just give them top three best and worst. They they got they got fire demons and fire dragons at Muspelheim. Oh, so that's where Clancy Brown shows up. And then no, uh, you're thinking. I think you're thinking Niflheim. Er, actually, no. You're. I think you're right. You are correct. Yes, you are correct. Yeah. So never mind. Uh, and then Elfelheim, and that's the that's the home of the light elves. I don't. Although know. now I have to decide if I want Ragnarok above or below Winter Soldier. But I guess I just realized besides Idrassil, 
JRPGs like to include other things from Nordic mythology. Or, well, and Yu-Gi-Oh had a Nordic are. deck that Yu-Gi-Oh uh, had a Nordic deck that was really annoying. Uh, Yggdrasil shows up in the Dragon Quest series, yeah, like because you get uh, like I always pronounce them Yagdrasil leaves, but I pronounce it Yggdrasil as like the place. It's just, just for some reason it sounds. More natural to say Yagdrasil leaves instead of Yggdrasil leaves for me. It's weird. Uh, but so Dragon Quest has it. You said Final Fantasy has it. Well, it has Midgar, which I guess oh. is referencing Midgard. Uh, in north. And probably. then I know, I know Tales of Siphonia has Yggdrasil as the Tree of Life again. Uh, and then, yeah, as you said, Jesse, Yu Gi Oh! Uh, but then also Digimon. <laughs> Uh, King King well, Grazel. I'm is, gonna uh, I'm gonna give you a hot take right now. I'm gonna give you a super hot take. Okay. North <laughs> mythology is better than Greek. Oh boy, that is a hot take. And the only reason why I say that wow. Norse is better than Greek and Roman is because Greek and Roman the gods are like complete butts. Yeah, well, I mean, Zeus isn't such a prolific banger of everything around him. I mean, that's true. Zeus no, doesn't do that. He can't control his penis. Knowledge. Or his head, apparently. Oh. Either head, because Athena comes out the top. What if... What if Zeus... Doesn't look like Zeus that everybody thinks. But what if instead Zeus is just Zork and his giant dragon penis? Oh, what? Is, what? A Zork, <laughs> Zork from Yu-Gi-Oh! What? Can yeah, you, Richard, you... have you not seen the Dragon Dawn? Apparently not, and I don't want to. Well, or, you're gonna have to. I don't know what kind of accident it went there. It's it's unfortunate, like, the way that he designed him. But, uh, yes, they they edit it later on. To like wrap around him, what? but it's what are we, still what? Good. Uh, we're talking about Zork from the final season of Yu Gi Oh. Here, uh, I'm putting it in the general talk uh, chat. There you go. I just posted Zork it. in it's, his it's, giant ballast. Yes. Oh, we're talking about season five. Yeah, That's did I say season okay. four? I think I might have. Yeah, I'm, I. Ancient Probably Egypt is very short, but it's season five, to my knowledge. Or actually, like the, the yeah, season, I have not seen that before. That's this, very unfortunate. The season season five is actually split up. Like it's not even or because like in the manga, it actually it's seven volumes. Uh, to tell like you know the ancient Egypt stuff, mm-hmm. um, but uh. In the anime, I think that they shorten the Egypt stuff because the first half is that like weird tournament where wait did someone say tournament? Yeah, where they have they have one of the guys that uses like fairy tale a fairy tale deck. Hmm. I have watched it like once. Uh, let's see. Fairy tale deck, like, cause one of his, or cause it, he uses, uh, like, it's basically, to, dang it, this is wrong. Okay, oh, uh, basically Cinderella. Oh, it's nice like Cinderella deck. Like, cause one of the cards he gets is, uh, or like uses is like glass slipper. Oh, there's a fairy tale card of Makarov. Or actually, it's a Yu-Gi-Oh card with Makarov as the thing. Okay. Uh, so anyway, we have gotten distracted already. Uh, here's the news that I can remember at the moment. I could have sworn there was more that I saw, but I don't remember what the other thing was. But it's uh, rich four in seven days, baby. What? I didn't even hear what you said, sir. Streets of Rage four oh. in seven days, baby. Oh. Oh, okay. Um. 
See, the thing I was going to say was uh, Toei Animation is shut down for the coronavirus right now. So that means the new Digimon series is delayed until things open up. And the same is true for other Toei animations, such as One Piece. Now that got me thinking, hey, I... <laughs> I'm I'm fans. I'm friends with two huge One Piece fans, and we were trying to come up with a topic. And I was like, "Why not have two guys who really like One Piece gush about One Piece?" And then I also like One Piece, but I'm also not as hugely invested in it like these two are. So, yeah, you're a novice. Yeah. This is adept. I'm the more advanced player here. Also, that's cool. That's cool. Our work. I like it. I want it. Well, yeah, the thing is that, like, in also, for those of you who are interested in One Piece, spoilers, spoilers ahead, spoiler warning, right there, spoiler warning. Um, like, the one of the biggest things is that he, this is how I got, I think, you know, a good starting point is how did we get into One Piece? So, I think that'd be a good starting point before talking about, like, the whole and why we love it. Uh, let's see. I don't even remember how I got into it. <laughs> um. Richard? <laughs> well, even though it's trash, uh, the four kids adaptation, I remember watching that on and off while well, Saturday mornings and whatnot, because it was on TV. And just had an interest for many years, but never jumped on it. Um, tried watching it one time on Hulu, but for some reason, the dub or whatever version of that called Nami. We're allowed to swear, right? Uh, uh, yes. Okay, yeah. The, somebody during the buggy arc called Nami a bitch, and I just did not care for that in a while. But then, I, like, I enjoyed the One Piece series of the games that I partook in have not really finished on Limited World Red, but I, like, enjoyed that background. Uh, and then I picked up Pirate Warriors 3, and I'm like, alright, I know this, oh, there's, there, there's a story I don't know, so I've gotta find a way, gotta watch it. Like, okay, this is found a dub version that uh, Toy um, Funimation actually approved, approved of, so watch that through a big, long part. And then got to the Paramount arc, and I'm like, I can't stop here. The dub ends here, but I can't stop here. So I switched over to sub, and that's all she wrote, because I just kept on watching it, and it took me about eight months. Yeah, and you did the math to to kind of try try to figure out, like, how, how many episodes you had to watch. Yeah. Like, and how much so time and whatnot. Is so there, there was this really awesome hangout uh, in summer of a couple of years ago where Scott invited us to come sleep over, but Scott had some like stuff going on beforehand, so we couldn't get to your house till about like 10.30 at night, I think, because you were just out and about. And uh, so we were waiting for you, and I'm sitting there playing my 3DS, sitting in my living room, and Richard pulls up a laptop. And he's, I'm like, what are you watching? He's like, oh, I'm watching One Piece. And I was like, oh, I remember that. And my journey, I didn't really watch the 4Kids dub. I rented One Piece, uh, I think it's called Grand Adventure? I, I think thought it, isn't game? it Grand Carnival? No, there's Grand Carnival's the party game. Grand Adventure is like a fighting game. Um, so there's two of them. But, but they're both called Grand. And I played through that, and I used to love Grand Adventure. Um, I think it gets up into Eni's lobby. I remember I played through the story mode, and I kind of remembered it, and I was like, eh, like, One Piece is okay. And then, like, I always knew of it. I always knew of, like, the rap and stuff. And then Richard's like, one night, all these years later, Richard's like, I'm watching One Piece, and I watch it, and Luffy is fighting biscuit which is like in the big mama arc and i'm like oh this is so cool so i start watching it and i have no idea about it so richard gave me a crash course through some of the movies pirate warriors 3 was a really good crash course 
And then I lucked out big time because before they started the current arc of One Piece, they had this arc where all of Luffy's friends from the past meet in one location and each episode was like recounting every major event in the arcs and showing like the big battles and stuff. So I got like the biggest crash course in the world through the Reverie arc and now we're here in the land of Wano which is beautiful and amazing, and I love it. The flashbacks that Jesse's referring to is during the Reverie arc of where all, all the powers that be, mainly kings and queens of different nations, come together. Uh, under, as I understand it, the world government branch and stuff, and does, whatever they do for peace talks. Does Sabo show up? Yeah, he yes, does. he does. Oh, Sabo's so cool. Sabo, I I, yeah. I think I've shifted. Like I used to really like Ace, but I think I've swapped, and I think now Sabo is my new Ace. But Law is still the coolest. Well, then you'd love Wano because Law is there, and people just piss him off left and right, and it's beautiful. But like Sabo, Sabo's cool. Like actually. Uh, I don't I don't remember how I got started. I think I always kind of wanted to watch it because I liked the style. And then I think when I worked at the library, uh, I ended up just deciding to check out the manga because I was like on a real anime kick and I was like, I need to try and find some animes. Uh, it was either that or... I read some of the manga when I used to get shown in jump or it probably was maybe a combination of the two but I think I think yeah I don't I don't know I think actually I started with reading some of it in shown in jump uh cuz I I the when I collected shown in jump I it had the Sabo Ace and Luffy like their backstory and I read it and was like, oh boy, this is so cool. And I love these characters. And then, oh wait, actually, another thing that might have opened my eyes to it was, it could have been one piece, like none piece, you know, like basically one piece abridged. I was like, this is funny, but I kind of want to watch the show too. I don't the know. funny thing about, um, you read through the arc that is like, just hurts me on a deep level because that arc comes right after Ace dies. They're like, here's a flashback, la 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 la. It's like, you know, meanwhile in the real world, Ace just freaking died. And they remind you of it with that. During that opening, it's called We Fight Together. It's the last one before the time skip. You see, like, everyone in their time skip training, and then you see Luffy, and he puts his straw hat down, and you see Ace's ghost, you see Ace's hand push Luffy's back, and then when Luffy turns around, Ace is gone. And Richard sent me that once, and it freaking destroyed me. It's the f One Piece, like... One Piece has some feels in it. One Piece can hit you with feels. One Piece will even hit you with feels about a boat. I cried during the Going Mary's funeral. Did didn't didn't Ace die like relatively like towards the beginning? No, it, that's during the Paramount arc. So that's around like four fifty to four eighty of the episodes. Oh, okay. Well, then I guess I know nothing. Sabo is the one that was believed to have died pretty early on. Because um, during the flashback that happens during the the post-war arc where they go back and show Sabo, Ace, and Luffy's upbringing, Sabo goes on a boat and get, gets blown up by an incoming celestial dragon. I... And then later you find out that Sabo lives and then is rescued by the Lost his memory. army. But he has amnesia until Ace dies. And then everything comes float, rushing back. I, I, I just... 
I I remember I remember really liking all three of them, but that was also that was also uh, I also like Ace a lot. And then you find out that Sabo has been using a steel pipe to beat people with since he was a little kid. <laughs> yeah, but that if you look on Ace's arm, that's why he has his name inscribed at like tattoo form, but the S in there is slashed out because of Sabo. Because they yeah. Sabo was dead, and that's why they did that. And that's the beautiful thing, because in... So, you would like the post-time skip, because after Fishman Island and Punk Hazard, they go to Dress Rosa, and that is a really long arc that has Law in basically the whole thing. Law and Sabo. Well, still to this day, because it's the one of the... The recent major arcs is, yeah, Dress Rosa is the longest arc. And then there was uh, Whole Cake, which is all about Sanji and the other half of the crew, so none of them. But now the most current arcs have, well, oh, the last one no, had Sabo, but no. Law. Everyone meets up at Dress Rosa, but half of the crew does split off to head over to Zhao, which is essentially a dead elephant, or at least looks like a dead elephant, and that's Walken where it houses all the minks or the talking animals that can use electric ability for some reason. Still haven't figured that one out. They just have the innate ability to use electricity. Uh, yeah. And then after the events of Dressrosa, the rest of the crew goes to Zhao, meets up with everybody. Then your boy, the mobster, comes and gives Sanji an ultimatum, basically, and kidnaps him. Takes them to Whole Cake. Beige! Freaking gang yeah. beige! Uh-huh. And then at that point, half a different half of the crew goes to go save Sanji, while the other go to Wano. Uh, yep. And start up the setup to take down Kaido. Yep, and the funny thing, Scott, is that even though Dress Rosa was over 100 episodes, and even though Whole Cake was almost 100 in the time of the anime, both of those missions, quote-unquote, only took, like, two or three days. Oh, uh, wait, say that again? Like, well, okay, so, so anime, they have, like, if you do conservatively, about 25 minutes per episode, but you got several different timelines and stuff going on in there, so... Uh, if, uh, if you think, so if you say, like, a half hour, then, Per episode, over 100 episodes, and that's that's roughly two days of time work. Uh, if they big. show you every event that happens in those scenes. So even though it takes us 100 weeks to get through everything, in their world, it's like two days, three days time work. So what you're saying like is TV's... like, or I was just going to say, so what you're saying is it's like if Dragon Ball Z... <laughs> It had the five minute it, it had the five minutes be real time, which I actually looked up recently, and it is ridiculous. <laughs> well, the oh, funny yeah, thing is that some comedy G- BBC where everyone can move faster like, than the speed of sound, and at some points close to the speed of light. Also, punk so everything has to be slowed down so we can see their actions. Even though during the Namek saga, oh yeah, they weren't get- that fast at that time. But I mean, during the tournament power of art. Arc and super, everyone's moving at blitz speeds. That for us, they have to sh- slow down everything so they show all the animation. But in real time, and they're like they do five actions which take nanoseconds, but for us, it takes five minutes. Also, uh, just just because you mentioned the super, uh, Jiren is kind of dope. Oh, in the manga, he's dope. In the anime, he's a piece of garbage. Well, I don't know a bunch of animes that where the anime progresses much further than the manga, and the manga just plays catch up. Yeah, I cases. well, I know with Bleach, it's like the anime catches up, and then they have to do a bunch of filler arcs until the manga releases new content. But with Super, it's like manga just came after the anime started, and then they're like, we don't like really what. We did with Jiren in there, so we're going to make him more, more of a, more of a likable character. There we go. That's the or, what I was like, like what or Jesse. Quick thing about Jiren. Uh, what makes him like an unlikable douchebag? 
in in the anime specifically, he's like very arrogant and very prideful and very overpowered. Like just everything about him is like completely unlikable. And then just like he's not like for example, Jiren like um, like, there's a bit where he knocks Goku down, and he, oh, I think Goku's done for. He goes and puts himself in a force field, and he's like, oh, he only does that when he thinks he assured victory. And he just, like, sits in a meditative pose, and that's, like, so arrogant. And then his best friend, Tapo, like fights Vegeta and loses, and he's like, even you failed me, Tapo. He's, like, such a D-bag in the anime. He's so bland and so unlikable that it... <sighs> tournament of power, more like tournament of... I hate Jiren. Uh, uh, or cause, cause I might like, get salty. Because in the, in, the, in the manga, he he essentially... I mean, yeah, he he basically dismisses Goku as being like inferior, but uh, he also like when as as like a pride trooper though, he's like co- like completely devoted to his job. But eh, this is don't even get me started on that rabbit either. Uh, don't even yeah, give me started on that rabbit. I hate uh, the freaking rabbit pride trooper at the passion also. But anyway, uh, so. The- Let's We're gonna have to talk about the turn of power, though. That I have feelings about that. Well, then we'll very. Have dra- we'll have to do a Dragon Ball at some point, but yeah, right yeah, for sure. But, we'll spot- but back to One Piece. Sabaudi. Well, Sabaudi. they're both animated by Toei, so they got the connection. Yeah. You know, we should just call this Toei Talks because we also talked about My Hero, which is also done by Toei. Fair, but we talked about like. It's just because I've been on a huge anime kick, okay? <laughs> Takoyaki 8. What? Okay, so... Oh, um, I get why. So, it. actually, now that we discussed it, Law shows up in three of the major four arcs post-time skip. Sweet. Oh, yeah, like, Law, the Law is a pretty prevalent character now. Like, he sh- he's in all of punk... He's not in Fishman, but he's in all of Punk Hazard. He's in all of Dress Rosa, and now he's in Wano. Also, do you guys know that there's a One Piece baseball game? No, but I've been playing <laughs> the One Piece <laughs> Match Three game on my iPad. Uh, is that the, is it like the Dragon Ball one the, the, that uh, Mason used to be really into? No, it, it's more like Disney Zoom Zoom because the actual oh, okay. characters are the are the ones you're matching. It's oh, fun. Okay. Nice. Okay. Uh, so and just for a correction, Jesse Toei does not do MHA. Oh, Toei doesn't. Oh, that's that's Toei. Toei is at least Bone uh, Bone Studio was the one licensed back in 2015 to give it the anime adaptation. I don't know if it, they've switched off from then. Let's see, Toei. Right, if, it, and... if it was Toei, you would have the cat be in the opening. You would yeah. Know. Uh, Digimon Cross Wars, um, Toriko, uh, Saint Seiya. What is Digimon brought to us by Waves and Rocks? Dragon, Dragon Ball That's Kai. a lot of the movies brought to you from Tokyo. Dragon Ball Super. Waves and Rocks. This movie is brought to you by Waves and Rocks. Digimon Universe Apple Monsters. Uh, Digimon Adventure Reboot. Oh, dude, that's... Oh, wait, yeah. I mean, I guess that shouldn't be surprising. Although, I'm surprised I'm not seeing Adventure Digimon Try. Where's Try? Oh, Butt Detective! Oh, yeah. I want to watch that. Yeah, what is Bones Butt Detective? all of MHA. Dude, you guys, there's a Butt Detective where he has a butt head. It's what? Behold, Behold Butt Detective, the Japanese detective who just so happens to be a butt. Okay. I 
need to watch this anime. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Uh, so, uh, let's see. Uh, let's try. Should we go over? Should you guys? It's, I mean, should you guys? Because you guys know it better. Go over some of the major arcs or some of the good, better arcs. Uh, okay. One of. Okay, we're gonna have to start with one of Richards. So here's one of the best things about current One Piece. A, quite a few major arcs have been adapted into movies mm-hmm. for the mm-hmm. early years. So now, so now you can basically go through the East Blue. You have to watch uh, Drum Island as an arc, and then you can watch Alabasta as an arc, as a movie. Alabasta yeah. has a movie. Skypea well, has came a movie. Out long before they did the episode of Blue and episode of Skypea. Yeah. Well, yeah, you can notice that the Sand Princess movie came out before those two because the animation quality in um in right, that it's one the older style. It's, it's yeah, like I was about to say it's that classic 90s all over. I have yeah, I, because it, yeah. I have the I have the one um what do you call it? The the one with the the the, the Skype the sand one. The one with Crocodile. I have that one on Blu-ray. You actually have that one? Are you not confusing that with Fairy Tale? No, I, I have. The, you know, no, I have. I have uh, the three One Piece um, Blu-rays. I have are Blue One Piece uh, Strong World, One Piece mm-hmm. Film Z, and then One Piece uh, Desert Princess thing. Okay. Like, okay. I'm I'm quick quick. I don't know. Is it going to reach? Uh. Uh, so I can't read it. It's too. too so if too we're going to talk about major arcs, one of the best things about the East Blue movie is that it's a really great origin movie. But I think if we're going to talk about major arcs, or maybe we should say favorites, I can already guess and know what favorite arc Richards is. Uh, yeah, maybe maybe like kind of each of a couple of our favorite ones because otherwise if we went through every arc it would be uh very long i'll give the audience a hint richard's favorite arc starts with an a there well here richard what's your favorite arc also i have to use the bathroom so i I will be right back i really like alabasta because of princess vivi and her bodyguard pal but i won't know i don't really want to say it's my favorite arc of it all. Oh, I thought you told me once it was your favorite. Maybe that. Maybe I was it's confused. It's in the top five, stuff. but I don't know what's number one. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Say all five of your top five are tied for first place. Like we are going to go the cop out route to avoid further stress. What would you say your top five in there, in no particular order, just top five? Well, um, we got Arlong Park, we've got Alabasta, uh, we got Annie's Lobby. I do, I do like the Pulse War because it does the flashback, and I'd say uh, Punk Hazard. Okay, uh, you so- like you like Punk Hazard. I, yeah. I, 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 Punk Hazard has the best thing ever, which is no, while putting bring Chopper it. and Frank, Frankie in Chopper's body, so Frankie's face is on Chopper's body. Okay, that sounds amazing. Also, but yeah, also I, I picked up, <laughs> I picked up my one piece, uh, and yeah, uh, Shonen Jump One Piece: The Desert Princess and the Pirates Adventure in Alabastra. Yeah, that is the movie. Okay. Yeah, I got it. I got it from Distrader okay. way back when. Okay. Okay. So, um, so Richard said Arlong Park, Paramount War. No, Technically, I said post war. I said post war arc. Oh, oh, the flashback. What is yeah, post-war with, arc? we fight together as the the main theme. Oh, I've seen. You seen the flashback arc? 
At, uh, Ace dies in the Paramount Or. I'm not putting that in top five. I'm on the, the arc right after it because we get feels and memories. So is this after the the one with Doflamingo or is this before Doflamingo? Well, Doflamingo is at the Do Paramount War. Doflamingo yeah, was the... All, all seven warlords are at the Paramount War because that is where Luffy and with the White Beard Pirates are attacking Marine Ford to recover Ace. Oh. oh. So it's the world government, the Navy, the Seven Warlords against the White Beard Pirates plus Luffy and all other uh, Impel Down really, uh, escapees. But because Luffy being who he is and Kuma sent him off to Tiger Lily? Island? Yep. I forget. Yep. It's uh, forget. Amazon uh, Lily. Boy, Amazon Lily. There you go. Uh, and he just completely impressed Boa Hancock. She fights Smoker for him. And oh, there's a Smoker's bunch of cool. other little uh, allegiances, alliances that are formed there where people who should be fighting for the world government are actually, they don't because Luffy's there. And Luffy they, defeats. They, oh, they and Whitebeard shows up. Whitebeard shows up and kicks the most. Darker, I said he's teamed up with the Whitebeard Pirates. Why would the and main Whitebeard man not just, be there? Whitebeard just kicks the ass. He he just like <laughs> <laughs> no, like Scott. He gets shot. Yeah. In the, Scott. He gets shot in the chest with the cannon, and he keeps fighting. So he has a hole in his chest. He has stab marks all over his body. He gets his mustache blown off, and he, he just keeps. No, kicking. he loses like half his mustache, or he gets burned, but he doesn't lose the whole thing. He seriously, he just keeps kicking the ass until he dies standing up. Like, what? what? Yeah, oh, and then Blackbeard oh, does put the cloak over him dissects him or whatever and extracts out his tremor tremor fruit. Is is Do you Bur- like to party? <laughs> is is Burning Blood still on sale and is it good? Yes it is. It's twelve dollars for the game of the year edition. Oh oh I, mean, I, is it? I played all three and I platinumed it. It it all it does is tell the story about the Paramount War. Goes through all that. Um but you get to play as a lot more characters than What's in the Paramount? But you're also supposed to play as that stupid Akainu loser. Oh wait! Uh, oh oh yeah! I hate Akainu. So he's the magma magma user that becomes the current. Oh wait! Who smokes a oh. giant ass cigar? His I cigar thought, is thick. Uh, I thought Akainu was the the electric guy. The I I, mean, I, I confused the the, the 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 who I was thinking uh, of. Alkiji's ice and he's Kizuru cool. Is the Kizaru, Kizaru the, freaking rocks. Yeah. The dude like in the yellow suit, Kizaru's freaking amazing. I I, I hate Kizaru. <laughs> he looks so badass. Uh, also, should I should I get Burning or is Burning Blood only on sale on Switch or is it also on sale on PS4? It's on sale on PS4 for the Game of the Year edition. I was talking about PSN, actually. Oh, wait. Say that again, Jesse? Uh, I was talking about the the PSN ones, the $12 for the Gold edition with all the DLC. Well, I I know the Bandai has also, though, had, like... I mean, I bought FighterZ MHA for, like, Super Sale. So I think it's probably just a Bandai sale in general. Yeah. Um, day, yeah. Well, I mean, Japan, the big in Japan sale launched on PS4 today, so that's... Oh, oh, oh okay. Wait, That'll... they got a big on Japan again? Yep. Oh, no, yep, man. they did it again. I mean, they just had that back in, like, February, March time frame. Yep, they're doing it again, and there's, a, there's like, My Hero, there's uh, Xenoverse, there's... My, the Xenoverse uh, has basically been on sale for the last three months, almost. Yeah. I mean, uh, fair enough, but yeah, I was just saying, I, I got some stuff today. I got, like, the Mel Slug Anthology for, like, ten bucks, so that that was a fun time. And, and I see our Joker friend is going online. Yeah. Maybe, um, might be checking out this sale. 
But uh, okay, yeah, so we have Richard's top five. Uh, My wait, top uh, five. Uh, uh, oh. Oh. Oh, uh, actually, no, never mind. Go, go on, Jesse. My top five arcs are. I'm gonna steal like two of Richard's. First of all, I believe that saying all of Water Seven counts Water Seven and Any's lobby. So, because in on Verve, Any's lobby is grouped in with all of Water Seven. Like, so I'm gonna say all of Water Seven is one of my favorite arts. I'm gonna well, say that's, that's that's more of like the Water Seven saga of sorts. Ooh. Yeah. For, for so the water. But yeah. So I, <laughs> I'm gonna say the Water Seven Saga. I'm gonna say Arlong Park. That was one of the first times I cried at One Piece. It was Arlong Park? Then I would have to say, um, Wano. Even God, though we're God, not God. even, even though we're not even halfway done with it, Wano has already become one of my absolute favorites. Scott Wano is basically feudal Japan. Well, it's it's fuel Japan and Luffy. Even though Luffy carries a samurai sword because he wants to quote unquote be a samurai, but he just punches people while he's holding the sword. He doesn't slash people. Ooh, like <laughs> I could buy. Like, I could spend twenty one ninety nine and then finally get Persona Four, Dancing in the Night. Uh Uh yeah, dancing all that night. Oh, that one's not a persona kick. Oh uh, well, I um, mean, I want I want the fourth one also, but I don't have it because I didn't buy the like the bundle. You you can only get it by buying the bundle. <laughs> so so Wano, I'm gonna already say that Wano's in my top five. Wano is freaking amazing. It like it it's just fantastic. The music the. <laughs> scenery the fights that are already going on right now like it, it's also sanji becomes a freaking superhero oh wait ooh, dope i he becomes soba mask and it's freaking amazing and then the i'm gonna say so oh, our long park water seven wano i would probably hmm what's another one of my favorites um I'm trying to think. Uh, I think Skypea is up there. Skypea is a lot of fun. Skypea is Skypea is great, and the Skypea movie is pretty good. Actually, I mean, the Skypea movie honors. Um, shoot, who was it again? Oh, the singer who did some of the yeah, One Piece openings. Good. Yeah, that that, and then I'm gonna have to say it. My favorite arc of all time. I do have a number one. Is Whole Cake Island. Get your bingo cards ready, because I'm about to be a little self-indulgent here, people in the audience. But as someone whose Straw Hat member, whose It Me, is Sanji, um, what they did to Sanji's character in Whole Cake Island is beautiful. They took him and made him from typical anime pervert to someone who was sympathetic, who was likable who was charming, and now, like, every arc moving forward, I can view Sanji thinking of that arc. Sanji almost got married. Uh, the characters in it were fantastic. It has my favorite villain of the entire series, which is Katakiri. He also known as Best Boy. Uh, like, hey, I have a question. Uh, yes. Why does World Seeker suck? I, uh, it yet. I don't know. I just know that the reviews for it were really bad, and I owned it for like a week and traded in because I needed Mario Maker 2. Like, because I, 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 I thought I had heard that. 85% of users like the game. It's got a 6 out of 10 for Steam and a 3.9 out of 5 for GameStop. Huh. Cause oh, like yeah, I, so I middle of the road. I'm I'm watching the little trailer. Ah, I mean it's very open world, but I have yet to play it. I mean, cause it's on sale right now, and it's mm -hmm. somewhat tempting to me. 
There is an episode of Zoro and an episode of Sabo. Uh, in it? Yes. Uh, as DLC. Oh. But um, yeah. Handles. I I do a runner up. I would say is just Rosa, just because it has Bartholomew. Who Scott? Have you seen that character? Uh, not that I know of. Bartholomew has a fruit that lets him create barriers, but his whole shtick is that he is a One Piece fan. No, he, he is he a is straw, straw hat, hat fanboy. Fan he, he is a straw hat fanboy. His ship is Luffy's face. He has Nami's orange tree on it. Like no, he has orange trees in honor of Nami. Of Nami, yeah. He gets them to all autograph their wanted posters, like. And then he becomes a straw hat like affiliate. And at the end of Dress Rosa, Luffy now has an army of five thousand people who answer to him. Dang. He has a he has a brigade. Yeah, the officials and law law is technically a part of the straw hat brigade. He's an affiliate. Yeah, but he's also not an official official member. Also, Yakuza is a ten dollars. So Yeah. So but. that's like but yes, Whole Cake is something that I saw myself in. It was a perfect time to jump on. The emotions were great. It had two openings. That's how long the arc was. Just like how... Did Jester also have two or three, Richard? Dress Rosa! Richard? Enter. Did I... Did the internet break? Nope. Oh, okay. Oh. It looks like Richard's talking, but he's not talking. What's happening? I'm confused. That might be his internet. Yeah. What, so what were, you, what were you saying? Jesse? Um. Or what were you asking him? Yeah. Um. Yeah, uh, Whole Cake is just amazing. It's all about Sanji and his family. And also, the villain of that arc, Big Mama, ate her whole family. So that was something. Dang. Yeah, she got her fruit ability by eating someone else who had the fruit ability. Hmm. Because she's like a giant. Oh, Richard dropped. Dropped out. Up, and Richard. Drop back in. Yeah, I don't know. It just like kicked me out for a little bit. I'm also now looking at uh Burning Blood to decide if I actually want to purchase it. Hmm. And you know what? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. Uh, okay, so where did we leave off, or what were we talking about? Um, I think I was just gushing about Whole Cake, because yeah, it's, it's incredible. It, oh, long also, song. because it has Best Boy! It has Katakiri, who is the best villain in the entire series! Yeah, we were talking about Straw Hat Affiliates and the Brigade. Oh, yeah. Huh. Katakiri, One Piece, it, Oda, if you listen to our podcast, if you're one of the people who's listening, Oda, please put Katakiri in the Straw Hats and you know, make That's a whole show happen. about Katakiri. 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 Charlotte. I think we have like, Katakiri's American number one fan right here talking. He has the mochi mochi fruit. Which is awakened, right, Richard? Because he the know. stuff he yeah. the stuff he pulled. I mean, I'm pretty sure he awakened that. What exactly does it mean to be awakened? They've just achieved the highest peak of their fruit possible. Uh, so does, is Luffy awakened? Nope, Luffy has yet to be awakened. He so, still has more to extract out of his fruit for power. So, and he's a fanboy? 
He's uh, well, Jesse, Jesse's a fanboy of Katakuri. That's what I was uh, saying. Oh, yeah. who's who's the one who's the fanboy of the Straw Hats? Uh, Bartholomew. Oh, that's he's Bartholomew. Barrier barrier. Bart- he's Bart- awesome. He rocks. He's in Dressrosa. Oh, okay. He's the he's he's one of the he's one of the what are they called? The pacifista. No, oh. Kuma's a pacifista. Oh, okay. Well, the pacifistas the... are based off of Kuma. Bartholomew oh. Kuma. Uh, oh, Bartho- Bartholomew. Bartholomew. Uh, yeah. yeah, Kuma's Bartholomew, and Barrier Barrier Man is Bartholomew. And what's his... He's, so he's he's the fanboy? It's Bartholomew. Yes. Or Bartholomew. Oh. He's got a... Yeah. Where's his boat? I want to see his boat. Yeah, his boat Sloofy's face. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not fine. I'm not seeing it anywhere. Oh, he's he's in he's in Stampede. Yeah, a lot of people are in Stampede. Is that out of or in in canon? Oh, uh, that's out of canon. Uh, so does that mean that like it's anyone can show up? Well, it's a lot of the worst generation, but yeah, they're like so. Just, basically, just, a bunch of people from from the arc from the series shows up in that. Even it's people even who are dead. Yeah. Okay. So Don't. Well, no. So no. Not. Not so that. So what you're saying is it's it's unlimited world reds coliseum mode. Maybe. No, Stampede is just like just, it's just fan service up the wazoo. It is oh. hands up fan know. service. Oh, it, it, yeah. It, uh, uh, okay, what were you saying, Jesse? Stampede is One Piece fan service, the movie. That is the best way to summarize it. It is One Piece fan service, the movie. Pato? See, like like a lot of anime, my knowledge comes pretty much mainly from the video games. I know, like, I've actually never watched, like, I haven't seen every episode of Dragon Ball uh, because I played so many video games about it. And also, like, most of my knowledge comes from, like... <sighs> Not a yawn. Um, it comes from like Dragon Ball Budokai, and the kind of the same thing can be said from uh, One Piece. I know a lot of things because of the video game, like Unlimited World Red. I kind of know that. What am I looking at? I don't. I never got to that point. Um. But, and then uh, Pirate Warriors 3 is pretty much where I completely sort of, sort of vague, vague, very vaguely have an idea. You also play Pirate Warriors 1, if I remember. A little bit. I don't think I actually ever finished it. So, Battle of Marine for. I I'm, I've been just browsing the One Piece wiki and like looking at the pictures and kind of going, oh okay, Shanks. It's quiet. Too quiet. Oh, dude, he 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 filled in my sentence. No. Scott, also, what One Piece game have you played the most? Uh, I think that one would be Unlimited World Red. I put a lot of time into that one. And I have never played. Don't you own that on like multiple consoles? I I used to own it on 3DS, and then I sold it one time, and then now I own it on Switch, and have been kind of replaying and recatching up. Yeah, I still have it on the uh, 3DS, if I remember. Technically, I can buy it on the PS4 for ten bucks right now. I can also, I think, still buy it on Vita, mm. but I'm not gonna do that because I already have it on Switch. 
and nothing beats the Switch because and yeah, like in the One Piece world, Unlimited World Red is analogous to Skyrim, I guess, because it's just on so many different systems. Uh, that is very true. Yeah, and it's a good game. It is like I really and and it kind of goes against what I was talking about last night, where the there's not a whole lot of combos to it, but I still have a lot of fun. But I part have of it, to get it at some point. Part of it is just the fun of, um, like, you basically upgrade a town, and you go and collect resources throughout the levels, which then you use to upgrade, like, different items and your, and upgrade your town. And, and, then, and then the Colosseum mode is actually a lot of fun for being just a bunch of fights. Uh, and it has kind of a cool story. Uh, because Do Flamingo basically holds a tournament, and you can like fight a bunch of people. Mm. And or, or can you play as Bartholomew? Uh, no, Aww. no, Mister Mister Fanboy. No, oh. but what about Sabo? Can you play Sabo? Yeah. Or yeah. Um, no, actually, you, no. Or. I don't actually hear. I was just on it. Let's see. I'll quick double check. I don't th- th- remember. He plays law. But yeah, this is kind of pre Sabo. There's. I'm not seeing any Sabo. I, no, what about Sanji? Uh, no, you can't play as Sanji. You can play as the rest of the Straw Hats, but Sanji just doesn't exist. I'm being sarcastic. Sanji's best boy! Uh, you can play as Boa. You can play as uh, Whitebeard, oh. Jinbei, Crocodile, Akainu, uh, Buggy, Shanks, Doflamingo, and Fujitora. As other. Why would anyone in their right mind want to play as Buggy? Uh, because you stand... Whoa. Why is he... He looks ridiculous time skip-wise. Oh, time skip buggy looks like a complete joke. Well, Stampede is like a big screw you to buggy. Oh, really? Essentially, yeah, Stampede essentially craps yeah. on buggy the entire movie, and it's beautiful. He has there's tiny bit, hands and tiny legs. There's a bit where... Uh, he's got a big body because he just uses his chop chop fruit to fill out a basically a big suit. To make a there's a bit a where Boa. Huh. There's an amazing bit where Boa is like digging through rubble, and she's like, "Oh no, no I see Luffy." She doesn't dig through rubble. She just she's running to find Luffy, and she spots a a red object and thinks it's Luffy's shirt. She pulls it out, realizes it's buggy, and then gives just beats the crap out of him. Whoa. And oh. Boa does her signature move of stepping down on people, pointing down at them, but completely looking up at the sky. Whoa, that guy's cool. Right? Wait, we haven't we haven't really talked about something that I've I've always really kind of dug in One Piece, and that's like all of the different cool like costumes and outfits. Mm-hmm. Like. Some of those are super cool, and some of them are also very... What? Yeah. I mean, don't... What about... um? Uh, I'm trying to think of... What about Luffy's fish costume? Oh, like the carp? Him. Yes. I, I could have sworn that I had read something or had seen something about how, like, every arc they tried to, like, deliberately kind of give them different... Um, you know, well, outfits. It's more for the yeah. movies where they give them different outfits or so. Yeah. No, that, no, that's true. Because, like well, in Empel Down in the Paramount Luffy Wars, thing. Luffy has a yellow shirt, and then there's another arc where yeah. he has a blue shirt. Eh, for the most part, Luffy is the same old, same old. But I mean, Nami and Robin get changed up. <laughs> uh, hmm. but. I don't, Sanji's always had the black a lot, suit. There's a less, less there's 
There's a lot less variant for the guys than there are the females with outfit changes. That Sanji, I, I Sanji's always had the blue suit or the the black. Sanji's always had the black suit. Like that's a staple. I... Unless he was getting married, then he has the white suit. But Luffy does dress like a gangster in Whole Cake. Uh, well, he also yeah, they're all they're all meeting Beige and his crew, and they've just been released from prison, so they f- buy new duds. Is, is well, yeah, uh, he has. Is well, no, he has those... the white jacket in that one, and then in Dress Rosa, he has like the Hawaiian shirt. Er... With the is, pineapples in it. Is one of them, like, with a gangster, like, dress? Uh, uh, sorry. Yawning again. Um, is, uh, is that where, does Zoro have a mustache? Zoro does have a mustache in dress okay, rosa. I'm looking, then I'm looking at that one. But Luffy also has a fake beard. And he's not Luffy, he's Lucy. I I also like I like uh I like in Strong Worlds they all dress up in game because there's in that one with guns. They they have guns and they shoot up the place. I sounded a little too excited about that. And then the awkward silence happened again. No, I'm listening. <laughs> Oh, well, I mean, I kind of, kind of ran out of things to say, but uh, um, yeah, I just haven't ones. really noticed the outfit changes. I, I, I like that's oblivious to them. I think I I notice it because like it's it's a whole lot more prevalent in like some of the manga covers and stuff. Ah, uh, that's true. Like I just well, know like, no, the series in... art changes. Yeah, there are. There are some, but I just like the minute ones or so. I just I haven't really noticed. Uh, like different clothes. the The problem you run into with One Piece is when you type in One Piece or clothing item, you yeah. get uh One Piece swimsuits. You don't. I mean, you could do One Piece anime clothing. I don't know. If or, well, I mean, that's that's what that's what I've done. Like I, I could have swore that. Let's see here. We'll go. We'll just look up One Piece on Wikipedia. Oh, also, wait. What's Pokemon One Piece and more anime delayed due to coronavirus? Netflix announces upcoming arrival of One Piece anime series. What? Uh. Well, I mean, they're making a movie adaptation. Uh, according to this article, uh, it's actually going to be a live-action series on Netflix. Oh, it's a live-action series. Okay. I just think it's weird that they're like putting it on Netflix. Because does that mean does that mean Funimation's going to have to take it off? Hope not. So, here's the thing. Wait. Um. So with with, I was looking into this. Luffy's outfit changes like a lot more post time skip, but pre time skip he had a blue shirt in Amazon Lily and a yellow shirt throughout the entire Paramount War and stuff. So there's that. So, just saying. But yeah, Luffy's outfit changes a lot post time skip because he gets like a Hawaiian shirt and whole cake he has like a white jacket and then he dresses like a gangster in Wano he has samurai clothes oh dude I just figured out I just found out I have Suicide Squad on Voodoo you should feel bad for owning that movie well I mean I don't have a blu-ray copy of it anymore also, I stole. Uh, I have access to both Star Tre- Star Trek and Star Trek Into Darkness, but not Star Trek Beyond. Uh, no, I should go and see if I have codes to put in. I probably do. Oh. I have a project. I think I might be 
you're working on later? Uh, I feel like we've really, we've really, there, what do you guys think? Have we talked extensively enough about One Piece? I, well, we said our favorite arts. We talked about our favorite characters. I mean, we need to mention wow. some of the best, so we'll do that rapid fire. Uh, Jinbei is the best. Um, Law. Vivi Law is, is cool. the best. Law is cool. Sabo's cool. Uh, all the celestial dragons and Blackbeard can uh, go burn in a fire. So. Uh, what about uh, you? What, what kind of what kind of thing? Like kind of closing thoughts do you have, Richard? Closing thoughts on. Uh, wrap just, up or? Uh, yeah, just kind of as a wrap up. I mean, One Piece is a big giant to take in and handle. Um, for as many episodes as it has, it doesn't have many fillers, but they are doing a good job at at least synopsing um, certain arcs, sagas with hour and a half um, movies. So for any newcomers or anybody that need, needs refreshers, there's always that, that nicety that they have. Yeah. And they do like to reiterate or at least show people um, of the past or of different places after major arc finishes or at least any time news about the, the Straw Hats hit the world, they at least like to show off people, which is nice. So you don't forget about any of the, the lesser characters. I, I'm just... Yeah. I'm looking at it. Well, I think my favorite, my favorite thing in the whole everything is still, and ironically, I'm looking at a poll that is asking the same kind of similar question. The one of my favorite One Piece things in the entire series is One Piece filmsy. You know what? We should we should end it by talking about how great that movie is and how cool everyone is. I mean that that is a pretty dope movie. And that, I really do appreciate Avril Lavigne at saying the credit thing. <laughs> and then you see young versions of like Kuma and Blackbeard and Doflamingo and Crocodile and Shanks and Ace, and you see Brooke when he was alive. Oh wait, I forgot that you you do. I I want to see Living Brooke again. Living Brooke. I oh, that's a, if it will come up. Oh, that's a that's a, um, a one piece staple, Scott Brook making jokes about being a skeleton. Oh yeah, he. Yeah, that is, man. He. He definitely. That's Brook. Oh, there. He, He's playing the violin. Also, what is that thing? Oh, is that is that just attached to his glasses? Is that a glasses attach? Er. Did you share a photo or what are you asking? Uh, no, I'm just I'm just looking at Google Google Images. Uh, he has he has like a little yellow yellow thing by his glasses. I think it's just to. Er. Here. This isn't a high quality. Oh. Yeah, I I hear I hate certain file types. Yeah, are you just able to right click and copy image uh, or no? Uh, I mean, like some like it happens when I save images. Sometimes it'll just be like, mm -hmm. "Hey, okay, here we go. Here's a here's a good one." Brook alive, and then. Boop, put it in yeah. There we go. Upload. Yeah. Like he has see he has he has like little yellow beads on his glasses and I think it's just to help keep them up or if it, if they fall yeah. off. Yeah. Although, oh it's part of there's the Zork. Yeah. Look at Zork in all of his magnificence. Did you just yeah, did you we literally put that up there a long time ago? Late seven, comer. Yeah, an hour an hour ago, dude. 
but we yeah did we did we mention how Brooke constantly wants to ask for people to look at people's panties? Panties. I mean, he asked Big Mama That's even. I. That's his gimmick. I like. I like. He gets. He gets rescued by Robin. I think. Or was it Robin in Strong World? And he goes, "Um, mm. thank you for saving me. Now, if you could, could I see your panties?" <laughs> He says that to everyone, but I mean, Sanji in the Thriller Bark arc yells at Absalom because he has the invisible fruit, and Sanji's like, "You, you're an awful person. You crush my dreams." And Absalom's like, "What? What did I do to you? I just met you." And Sanji's like, "I wanted to be the Invisible Man." Well, I have and never seen sneak this into the women's bathroom. Yeah. And now Sanji's having the conundrum where he can go invisible with the raid suit provided to him by Guillermo. His family, who he hates. It, but he he reviles his father's com- well, empire, basically. Yeah, because his father basically, like, genetically modified all of his siblings. And Sanji's the only the mom- actual human that's not modified. Yeah, the mom took poison. The mom took poison to have Sanji, and so he came out normal. But the rest of his siblings have superpowers. Uh, okay. I need. I I. Whole take is freaking wild, man. Let's see. Whoa, okay, brothers. Ichiji, Niji, and Yanji. Yep, and then you have. Reiju, who is the best sister. You mean the fact okay, that... Well, well, his Vin Smoke Ich Ichiji was the guy who earlier I said, oh, he's so cool. Oh, they're all assholes. Yeah, but they look they look cool. That's the thing. Yeah. Also, does does uh, does Luffy get a uh, cool? Because I saw in one of the one of the games or one of the things that. Like he has kind of like a almost what looks like a superhero suit. Is that that's Sanji? That's his raid suit. Uh, okay, uh, but does Luffy wear a raid suit? No. Luffy wants to. Him and Chopper both want to. Like they they, they imagine what they look it, like. But... Yeah, like Luffy's like they're like we could potentially shoot lasers, and Sanji's like that's not how this works. Like it's it's pretty funny. That's at the end of the arc. So when what arc is this? Whole Cake Island. Uh, yeah. oh, I kind of I want to watch that now. And then you will find out why Jesse says it me, and why Sanji is Jesse's straw hat member. All right, let's see what game what game was it? I'm gonna click. I'm gonna go back. Pirate Warriors Four. Pirate Warriors Four covers Whole Cake. Or no, but the, like there was one in particular. There was one game where I saw promotional art with uh, his different like costumes. Um, I don't remember if is it this one? No, it's not this one. It's pro- is it World Seeker? Is that is that where it is? Boom, uh, World Seeker. Let's see. No, but uh oh wait, yeah, it, it is World Seeker because I saw it on the DLC store for PlayStation. Ah. World Seeker, what is it? A raid raid suit. I'll put it in the chat because it looks it looks really like it looks really cool. Oh, that's super tiny. That's still super tiny. Still super oh. tiny. Oh, okay, there we go. That's not. That's it's also the standard uh, wallpaper font or format, or 1920 by 1080. So you can use it as a wallpaper. Bam. Ah, yeah. It's got the 66 on there from yeah. It's a raid suit from Jerma. Yeah, I like yeah, it. Yeah, it's a 66 for a second. I thought right. it was a 68, but. That second six has a little more of a closure on it. Yeah, or it's fifty six. Oh, fifty six. Yeah, that's a five. And a six. Oh, I just think I just enlarged it. Yeah, that's a fifty six. Okay. 
Oh, wait, yeah, I could see the 60, 60, 66 or 68 without clicking yep, on it. Six, clicking six, on it. Guillermo 66. It's funny because Sanji... Right. Jesse, click, click, on, click on the picture. Them? Click on the picture. It's 56. Mm-hmm. No, it's 66. No, it's 56. If you click on the picture, it is a 5 and then a 6. I'm also looking what at... Why is Luffy have a raid suit? Where the heck did that come from? Uh, it's just... It's World DLC. Seeker. Yeah, World Seeker. Okay. Like... You got... There's also a Hunter Luffy. Who, Luffy with, like, what looks like a military jacket. Uh, Luffy in, like, tra- in sa- somewhat traditional samurai clothes. And Luffy with a... A giant axe and like uh, uh, in film gold, Kintaro. Uh, what? I don't. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, okay. It's from film gold. Duh. I haven't seen film gold yet. Oh, the casino. Uh, There's film gold and heart of gold. How to oh. Gold is the the prequel of sorts to film Gold. Okay, I I might. But I'm I want to just watch Gold because casino theme. Oh, I didn't know it was at a casino. I kind of I. Now I just want to watch, Amine. Also, okay, here's gallery. I want to look at all the pictures. Watch the openings, though. The opening themes are goody. Uh, Gucci, I think, is what you're looking for. Luffy is a toy. Whoa. Luffy in a tracksuit. Man. Okay. I I keep getting distracted by things. Mm Mm-hmm. Oh, dude, it's a Hawaiian shirt. Okay, I need to stop talking. But I just keep looking at cool stuff, and then I just want to react. Um, so, so what do you guys, what do you guys think? Should we, should we kind of call it a wrap? Now you're making me hungry. Oh, you have a bunch of candy bars that you need to go through. You want to go That's man? unhealthy. I don't want to eat them all in one day. You don't want to. Then I'd be using Benji's signature. Of I'm fat. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Dang, Luffy is not going to age. in one timeline. Luffy looks like Luffy is not going to age too too well. No, 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 no. Hey, there's also in Stampede the moment that I heard Richard scream at One Piece. Chopper gets fat for like oh. a split second from eating. And it's so funny because Richard was only half paying attention, and he was like, "Why is he fat?" He's like, "Why is Chopper?" Fat? Here, I put. He's, I put... he's plump. Here, oh, I see it. Yeah, I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna have to do a little Discord adjusting, I think. But I think that, I think we'll we'll call it we'll call it time of death. Yeah, the bottom left makes me think of the imposter that shows up on Sabiodi oh, like, after the time skip. There's an imposter, Luffy. Yeah, during the two year time skip where everyone got shoved oh. by Kuma to designated locations to help them train. Yeah, he's uh, a ragtag group of pirates just impo- become straw hat imposters. Oh, I see all of them, except for what is the skeleton man? Is he? Is he? Is Brooks the only one who's real, or is that a different skeleton man? Um, I don't remember. So, who. so what happens is that yeah, everyone thinks the straw hats are dead because Kuma poofed them away. Um to their time skip locations and they've been gone for two years so there's the imposters and it's amazing because luffy walks around wearing like a big nose and glasses and a mustache and then uh he reveals himself and they're like wait a minute who's the real luffy and then you know it's the time skip because he beats a pacifista in one punch 
he he just knocks it down and it blows it up and it's the most hype thing ever. Hmm. Fake Straw Hat crew members. Yeah, and then, and then Chopper is just like a uh, raccoon dog of sorts. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Because that's what everyone mistakes him for as being a, a raccoon dog. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay. Yeah, there is no fake Brooke. Yeah, that's what I was reading. I I saw just like a picture, and I like. But yeah, it probably was just a fan made picture. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I like fat. I like fat Luffy. Maybe I should make that to put that. Right? <laughs> you know what? For the thumbnail, I should just put the the straw hat imposters. Oh my oh gosh, gosh! The the Nami the Nami one. It's so funny because Nami like electrocutes half of them and like totals a restaurant. <laughs> like, I kind of want to watch this episode now. Yeah, it's right after the time skip, so it's like five fifteen or somewhere around that number. Oh, okay. I see what you I, I see what you're saying too about Luffy and his. Yeah, he has the the Groucho Mark nose. Mm. And the guy who's Frankie looks really creepy. Yeah, yeah. I think he's. I think he's the creepiest one out of the group. He, yeah, I don't know why they have him as fake Frankie, but. The dude's just so old and ragged. Yeah, and and like the glasses and his sickly skin just are. Although Robin, Robin's also really funny looking. Robin doesn't even make sense. And you know the the guy who who's Sanji. You know who he reminds me of. He reminds me of the uh the the guy who's in charge of the, um hero licensing exam. Oh gosh. He kind because of, he has the similar hair. Like what? What's his name? Can you re- do you remember who the from MHA the, licensing? Yeah, the licensing exam, license exam host maybe. Proctor. Air. Let's see. Come on, there's got to be a picture somewhere. Uh, maybe instructor. Instructor. Where? Why am I not finding him? I liked him. He's funny. <laughs> oh wait, what if I do sleep? I bet you if I do sleep, <gasps> there he is. Oh, so, uh, no, 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 Richard, Richard. Yoku you know what the Yoku. the thumbnail yeah. should be? You know what the thumbnail should be? Uh, what? The so this is from the Ark of Wano. This is when Frankie, Usopp, and Robin um see this poster of Luffy. Scott, look up oh. Wano. No, no, yes. no, <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. uh, Scott, look up. Scott, look up Wano Ark. Robin, Frankie, Usopp reactions. Their faces are freaking amazing. <laughs> I mean, Jesse has shared like all oh. three of them at some point during the Facebook feed. Uh, oh, <laughs> um, this is the dogs, boot. dogs, be quiet, please. Richard, oh, Luffy, huh? Oh. Uh, is is wait, is it the one guy with uh, the electric guy, and then the one with the lady? And then a d- a different one, because I'm only really seeing the only one I'm seeing per se is the lady that you always share. A oh, Robin, where she's uh, like Luffy, huh? Yeah, but um, what? Uh, so I I have one arc reaction. What should I say? Or what should I type? Like shock. Yes. Shock. Uh, still that one. Oh, okay. Oh, 
Yeah, Frank you is face and okay, I'm I, I see. You. And, and Scott, there's it you because we said that you're Usopp. Yeah. <laughs> I like Usopp's. Like I like one of. I like one of uh, different Usopp. I like the one where his tongue is all. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, oh actually, from just Rosa. From uh, just actually, Rosa. Law is the coolest because he still looks cool even when he's shocked. Okay, we we just keep we just keep talking about One Piece and animes and stuff that we're looking at. We do. We do. We do. One Piece shock fans with the latest Wano Trader revelation. What? Don't spoil it because it's still new. Okay. I keep I keep saying it and I keep trying to kind of draw things to a close, but it's it's been unsuccessful because we keep getting distracted. So speak now and try to distract it further or forever end the, this podcast. Yeah, that too. Okay, thank you all for watching us talk about One Piece. Have a good night, everyone. Yeah. Richard, Ford play us out. Bye, 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 bye. <laughs> oh, I interrupted. <laughs> I was like, what do you mean by play you out? <laughs> uh, I was just like, I was just going to go, I will just ba da ba ba da ba da ba Boom. That works. Okay. Watch anime, kids. Yeah, watch One Piece or play the video games or something. Goodbye. Bye.